everybody and welcome to another vlog. Right now I'm saying hi from Switzerland. So welcome to Montreal. It's my first time in Montreal. It's been on my radar. I'm gonna be honest with you guys because I've heard about the Montreal Jazz Festival. Not sponsored, genuinely telling you the situation. And I know that it's like this beautiful city by the lake, you know, all the cute stuff, but actually never been. So now I got invited by Audemars Piguet and we're going to Montreal Jazz Festival, you guys. Indeed we are. And I'm very, very, very excited for that. But right now I don't have much time to chit chat because we need to be downstairs in 40 minutes exactly. And I want to have shower, I want to redo my makeup, I want to get dressed. And we're going to have like a lot of activities. This says, welcome to Montreal. We hope you had a smooth trip to Switzerland. To be honest, when you live in Milan, it's such a pleasure to come here. It was like three hour car journey in the morning. Loved it. The actual journey is about to start. We're excited to discover Mark Ronson's closing show at Montreal Jazz Festival with you. And we hope this little presence helps you capture your very own memories this weekend. <laughs> let's see what it is first things first look at this view i mean i think i told you this before but nothing is as good as a lake view for me because it's just so calming and so peaceful this is my room i need to start unpacking but first we want to see what's inside of this bag so ladies and gentlemen we have dance drink repeat flask Adam Piguet x montreux jazz festival ah this is so cool then we have we're gonna be so happy about this guys so these are the instax mini 90s the Polaroids, okay, and of course they always think of everything because we need to film. This is for my collection of Audemars Piguet tabs, but this one is pretty cool. I just need to make it a bit tighter. So this morning when I left the house, I was thinking, why did I not bring the cap? Because I actually got so many beautiful caps from them um, in... Ooh, I got so many cute caps in Central Pay. I love this. Okay, this is natural face spray. Herbal Garden made in Zurich. Let's try it. I love a good facial mist. Mm, smells so herbally. Love it. And it's so refreshing. Honestly, nothing is ever as refreshing as face spray. A little bottle of Ruinard. Mm, this is so cute. And I hope these are chocolates. Indeed, because I read at the back. But honestly, all the Marpy Gay chocolates. I never want to eat this. I just want to have it forever. And even the bag. You know, when I see this bag, I just think about picking up a watch. So it just makes a day better. So right now, we need to get dressed. We need to change. We need to do a million things. So let's get going. Also, guys, one thing you need to know is that I'm back vlogging on one of my original old cameras, but with a mic. So you need to let me know how's the quality of this vlog going to be, because it's very important to make it really good. Fingers crossed that it's going to be really fabulous. The only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about this camera is the actual stabilization. Like if I move, does it actually stay quite good? That's the main question for me right now. That's very, very, very important. So you guys are going to have to give me the feedback. But now let's change into like a really smart casual outfit because that's the plan for tonight i know there's like no high heels so we have to keep it quite cute guys so i showered i redid my makeup i changed well that's kind of obvious i guess but i thought i'd show you my outfit just so let me see how am i gonna do it where am i gonna place the camera i'm actually very good on time i have six minutes because we delayed the meeting time for half an hour hopefully you can see it sorry about the mess in the background you guys know it's me no surprises there so this is the look these are white Marcella London pants. I have like Nike sneakers that Filippo got me. This is Hermes top that looks like this. The stripy knit is from Attire, Xenia's brand. And for the first time ever, I'll be wearing the yellow Chanel classic flap. I really love this color combo. The stripy knit is very much needed because even if it's very hot right now it will be colder we're in switzerland and we're in mountains so usually in the evenings it gets chilly i want to wear also a pair of sunglasses i'm going for my chrome hearts ones because i think they bring the cool you see they bring the cool and i need to pack my bag inside of the bag we're gonna have okay very mini version of charlotte tilbury pillow talk and a little MAC lip gloss. It's like my sister's favorite. Oh, I still have the paper inside of the bag. You see? My content production phone. I don't know if I need it, actually. I've charged my phone. That's much better now. And then the vlogging camera, I guess. I don't know if I actually need all of this stuff. I might rather instead take picture camera. Yeah, I think this will be fine. So, we're ready. How does one person manage to create so much mess in such a short amount of time? That I will never know, but it's a special gift that I was given. Morning, guys. We made it the to. The microphone is on. It is on. You're again you trying to trick me. You can see it on top. Trickeries, guys. Hi. I, I actually. This is the first. <laughs> How's it going? 
Xenia's watch is so good. Let's show you a watch. For all of my watch lovers, you guys, look at this Royal Oak. It's so beautiful. I love it. I mean, when you can get a quota, that's the quota to use it on. You know, that's the watch. Love it. Xenia, you did well, girl. I mean, your outfit is actually bomb. I love the skirt. I like the socks. I mean, who cares? And the bag. They're matching the bag. Yeah, exactly. So that's okay. And I love Rue's outfit too. Should I show yours or you already showed? I already showed. Uh -huh. But you can show it. Okay. I... Je ne sais pas. Maybe it'll be overexposed. Sorry, guys. Xenia cannot operate the camera. Is this better, Xenia? I hope I'm not gonna fall in the pool. I think the sun is too strong. Maybe we should go into the shade. No, but it looks pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty? Wow. Did you see my sweater? Did you see my knit? I copied you, actually. Did you bring the same knit? Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I know. all of us. I know. I know. Look at this view you guys, this is where we're gonna be having dinner and it looks insane, I'm shook. Guys, I cannot get over this view, it's so, so pretty, beyond gorgeous. Good morning guys, I just woke up like literally 10 minutes ago, so I managed to kind of put together some relatively presentable face. I got dressed. I'm wearing a dress from Ataya. It's this kind of like an evening dress and it has open back, which you can't see. But you'll have to trust me. The view of this morning, insane. Insane. I just love a good like view. But first things first, you guys know your girl needs a cup of coffee. Otherwise I cannot function. So I brought my journal, my laptop, my earphones, I don't know if I'm gonna have breakfast on my own or with my friends. So I just need to have a plan B and we're gonna go down, journal a little bit, have my coffee, catch up with my friends, eat breakfast and start this day in Montreal. Guys, I'm a serious outfit repeater. That's the truth. I'm wearing kind of same outfit that I wore to the Coldplay concert recently. Just have a pair of sunglasses. These are my Chrome Hearts sunnies. I think it's even the same shoes, but probably a different bag. I'm thinking of wearing the same Chanel yellow flap I wore last night. Actually goes well with these shoes. It's a cute look, but I don't even know if maybe instead I should have a mini Kelly because this could be more convenient because I could wear a crossbody and not worry about anything during the concert. So for that, this could be actually quite convenient. I'm gonna put it on and I think I'll wear this. It is going to be more convenient. So sorry that it, there hasn't been much vlogging. I have to say, in my defense, I'm spending a lot of time talking to people. So it just doesn't feel appropriate getting the camera out. And also today, all the free time that we had, I was doing a lot of emails, you know? So that's what we did. I also feel bad because obviously like you guys want to see maybe a little bit of Montreal Jazz Festival, but actually we're going now. I will try and film some snippets. Can't promise very much, but I will try my true best. Guys, I was truly an awful vlogger the past few days. Well, first of all, in Montreal, we were just kind of like enjoying, having fun. We were at the music festival. I think like it's quite understandable why there was a bit of a lack of vlogging. But yesterday I traveled home to Milan. I got home, I repacked my bags, had a very nice long shower, went to bed and woke up at 5 a.m. to catch a flight because now we're in London. I know, I know, I know. It's really like my current lifestyle with traveling. It's absolutely crazy, but I knew in my head that this was going to be the last work trip and that after this, literally we're like done with everything. So good news are that this is it. I like woke up at 5 a.m. with no problem because I knew like I give myself a project and I know that this is after this London trip, I will fully go back home, rest, recover before the holidays. So I even get to rest before the holidays. I mean, that's like a crazy treat, I would say, but it's been necessary. Sorry. Anyway, where are we? We are in London in Hotel Cafe Royale as always. I'll give you a little tour of my room before I manage to mess it up. Of course, this is the sort of like entry. I received some really cute, look at these are like chrome strawberries, like chocolate strawberries, really cute. This is my luggage. I'm staying here for two days only. So it's not so bad. I literally have not got anything except from a ton of skincare that I really needed. That their bathrooms are always the best. Like look how gorgeous is this. I mean, you guys know it already, I know. A little bit of a wardrobe space. I have some packages that I have
have arrived before me actually beautiful flowers that i received from louis vuitton how beautiful is this like really 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 sweet this is where i'll be sleeping tonight i'm already looking forward to it but we have a ton of meetings actually to do first so what can i tell you this was my travel outfit hold on okay it's very basic but i love these pants these are from medea it's a romanian brand that i love very very much this is a kate knit Saint Laurent top and now i need to get myself a little bit more presentable i'll try to touch a makeup and then we might even might even get out you know why not we don't need to stay at home all day Guys, that massage was so good, but now because I was lying on my, I don't know if you can see, I was lying on my face for majority of the treatment. It was amazing. I did um, aromatherapy massage. The spa at Cafe Royale, guys, is not sponsored, but it's probably like the most beautiful spa I've ever seen in my life. It's insane. However, now I have all of these creases on my face that I need to fix. Can you see the really major one here? Because I have a meeting in 40 minutes and I need to fix this face. So let's go. Guys, I'm filming here where there are some weird lights so that you can really see it's a backlight you can really see the dent on my forehead which is due to the massage bed honestly these stay on my face for hours i mean i've talked about it before but yeah the thing is like i never really have a puffy face you see in some lights you see it more than in the others but i do retain water so yeah great the thing is that you need to know about me is that i don't really care like i find it that there's so many other more important things in the world that it's not like I would never like cancel something because I'm like, oh, I have a dent on my face or it's not a good hair day. So it is what it is. Thinking about beauty. Oh, I mean, it's just so beautiful. And I love it very much. Though I must say something to you guys. I don't feel as safe in London as I used to feel nowadays. So I met some of my incredible followers here in London. I feel like my followers in London are like nowhere else. They're so, I don't know, like enthusiastic and fabulous and lovely. And like I got scared a few times when someone like startled me because I feel like I'm so aware. Like I'm constantly going around like this. So yeah, it's a pity because it takes away a little bit from the charm of it all when you constantly have to think like you know is everything okay but that's the modern world we live in right now guys i wasn't gonna vlog this at all actually i ordered a huge box of beauty products and i feel like <sighs> I should really show you what I ordered, right? Because I'm sure you, I, at first I wasn't gonna vlog it, but then I was like, I'm sure you guys wanna know. So first of all, I'm sure you've seen these. I've ordered these shower foams from Sunday. And the first one is Honey Honey, the green tea, wow, the coconut cream and cool mint. And the green tea one is exfoliating, whipped shower foam with AHA, so with acids, which is really good. So I ordered those four. Then I ordered something new from Olaplex. This is volumizing blow dry mist. I mean, it's not like I need volume, but in my hair, but you know, and of course the stuff standard Alplex Zero that I use a lot. I also ordered this Nuke Lip Balm, which I just put on my lips. It says it's 97 natural organic ingredients. Now this was sold out everywhere. I will link everything that I show you below so you guys can see it, but it was always sold out. I really wanted it because I really like honey products. I think it's a little bit too fragrance for me maybe. Then I ordered the Way Scalp and Body Scrub Instant Bars. I've already shown you this one. I just had a bigger packaging. So I ordered the travel size because I want it for the summer holidays. But then I ordered the full size of the butter because I haven't tried that yet. Wow, well, I ordered a lot of products. So I ordered some sun protection from Avida Sun Care for holidays, right? I ordered a lot of hair stuff. What is this? Health, some like hair serum. Ah, scalp serum. Yeah, we'll see. I ordered a lot of hair serums because I feel like it's a product that I have never used before. Ah, one more Sunday. This one is Orange Crush. So I really love this. I ordered something that I asked you guys if I should order and specifically one comment stuck in my mind. There was a lady that said, this is the first product that you asked whether or not you should get and I have it. And she really strongly recommended it and said I need to use it three times a week. And it's the new face. I ordered the Trinity one. So very excited to try this because apparently you guys are saying that the results are very obvious. Okay, then I ordered the 
Grow Gorgeous Body Butter. I don't know what it is. I just felt like it. I love this Lana Lips 101 ointment. This is the coconut one, right? Ah, oh, I had the peach one. It was so good. It's the best, most moisturizing. Also, I ordered my favorite Summer Fridays lip balms. I have one in the bag right now. It's so, so, so good. I ordered more of UV protection for face. This is the ultraviolet sun protection. I ordered this hairbrush with LED lights that it's supposed to make your hair have more strength, growth, volume, etc. I ordered more UV, <laughs> daydream sunscreen. What I really like about it is that it's a little bit tinted. I ordered Laneige lip sleeping mask, the Vanille, because I love it. I ordered this Dew Blush by Sai. How do you call it? Sai, because I really like this brand. I will try it now, but then I have to get up and get a um, brush. This is shade Chili. I'll show it to you. I ordered two colors. And this shade is rosy. I'll put them next to each other so you guys can see as well. Oh, rosy is quite lighter. It looks like one that I have from Rare, actually. I'll show you. Really beautiful. Both colors are really beautiful. You see, this is rosy, the bottom one. It's a bit more peachy. And this is chili on top. It's a bit more deep for being tanned and stuff. And actually, you can mix them both. You achieve this. Love it. Ordered some stuff from Hourglass. What is this? Crease brush. My favorite crease brush is from Hourglass. And number six, tapered brush. Love it. I ordered one thing for Filippo so that you know. It's the Aesop lip balm with SPF. It's for the holidays. Because I'm sure he's not going to use my tinted ones. I ordered Coco and Eve Tan Boosting Anti-Aging Body Oil. Looks good. It smells like, oh, it smells like divine. I want to eat it, not. And it's quite like natural and it's not too big, which I like. I ordered more of my favorite skin assist Sarah Chapman balm for removing makeup because I love it. I ordered ultraviolet SPF 50 hydrating lip balm because my lips burnt in Ibiza. I told you guys. I ordered another coconut Eve oil because I was like, I need two. I ordered Christopher Bon my blue mask. They changed the packaging so I couldn't recognize it. And for the longest time, I didn't buy it because they've changed the packaging it's the best the best and it just makes your hair less orange not that i have any problem with my hair looking orange but you know i also ordered from nude sticks this blotting mat it's a blotting paper but in a stick i ordered another lana lips tinted lip balm let's try it it's the nude one i love this product hello is anything coming out <gasps> okay i put out a lot now so moisturizing. It doesn't smell like anything because that's kind of the point of it. And I ordered some little nude sticks, blushes, highlight, eyes, lips, and cheek sticks. So, went a bit crazy. So that's the beauty stuff that I got. I mean, I did get some other stuff as well here in London, but I think I'll show you most likely when we get home. I got a new pair of shoes. I love, love these shoes so much. So, you guys know I'm crazy about ballerinas. I spoke about these shoes before. I love the mesh ones. I was hunting for mesh ones, but then I saw these in white, and the truth is, I I actually need the white more than the black because I already have enough black shoes. These are so gorgeous on, especially. I will link them below if I can find them because they just came out. They're like the new collection. And I wore them with this this morning. So yeah, this is my new shopping that I also need to pack. Okay guys, we just arrived to the Hourglass event where I'm discovering the new Veil, which is basically like a hydrating skin tint, perfectly on time for my summer. I'm very familiar with this product, love it. Then we have some skin products that are, I'm gonna all try. And you guys know I love these, they're so good. What's going on when I zooming in and zooming out like so abruptly? I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we're currently at this gorgeous penthouse. I'm just loving the flowers and getting so much inspiration for my <laughs> wedding can i say that i'm sorry but it's true it's also like that i love everything at this penthouse because it's so beautiful also the furniture and also the travertine look at like this here i'm ready to be matched yes i'm happy to do just a little match just here for you so you can see we'll just try it like that i trust you okay let's do it i mean definitely in the end i want all over but you can match however you like okay Bonjour, my favorite people. Welcome back to the third attempt to actually finish this vlog in this or that way. I don't even know what to tell you, except that this vlog was just not really giving. In terms of like, I tried to vlog a lot in Montreux, then I got like completely, completely distracted by my friends, so it's their fault. <laughs> then I tried to vlog in London, I got distracted by meetings, so I had a lot of meetings in London, events, and I tried to vlog in between. I think the last thing that you saw in this vlog was me getting color matched for the new Hourglass veil, which is like a hydrating sort of like, not sure 
sure if it should be called like foundation. It is a foundation, but it's like a very hydrating, light foundation. So that was the last bit. I got color matched in case you're wondering. I'm shade nine, but I got seven, nine, and eleven, so I can have like from my winter shade to my summer shade, everything. And after that, I had the most mind blowing acupuncture session, guys. Okay, we need to talk about this. Even if I made myself breakfast and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna say a quick hello, then I'm gonna eat the breakfast. However, I need to tell you, this is very important. And you know that when I'm passionate about something, I have to share it with you because the passion is real. Okay, so I had my first ever acupuncture session with Ross J. Barr. I've heard about him like prior to everything that happened in 2020 from like a journalist that I really, really look up to, Rose. And she told me that he's like the best acupuncturist in London, but that it's like kind of not the easiest to book an appointment with him because he is busy. Busy. When you're good, you're busy, I guess. Or that's what I'm trying to tell myself when I'm busy. The point is that it was pretty mind-blowing and for me this was like a 360 moment because when I was a kid, well some of my oldest, oldest, oldest memories that I have are to do with acupuncture. So many of you know that what my parents did since I can remember, well my dad did his master's degree in China so he lived there for four years and when he came back to at the time Yugoslavia he actually, my parents together in joint forces opened the first sort of like private hospital uh, what is this alarm? It keeps interrupting me, but let's just ignore it, okay? I'll try and put the microphone closer to me too. Hopefully you can just hear me talking and not the alarm. So my parents opened the first private hospital that was an acupuncture clinic, I suppose. And my dad took 10 like mega specialists from China to Yugoslavia at the time, and they were performing acupuncture. My dad said that when acupuncturists are good, they're just like the best thing ever. The problem is that knowing which ones are good and which ones are not that good, right? Because there's a lot of them they're not great so i remember seeing all of these like pictures of like i'm not sure if this is a little bit traumatic for a three-year-old to see but like a picture of a head and all the muscles and all the little things like with needles like a picture of a foot and the hand and all these random like pathways through your body and meridians like what you know these are the things that as a pharmacist i have not learned at university like these meridians and things because it's completely opposite like science as it is is different to like traditional medicine or acupuncture so very different but i had first like it was just like a brief 20 to 30 minutes appointment with ross and it was mind-blowing for me first of all when he put the needles in my legs so we discussed that i have a lot of tension in my shoulders which is what i have and he said that that is a lot of unsaid words when you keep a lot of things in yourself and guys i guess it applies for a lot of people but that's why I wanted to share it with you. But I honestly, honestly, I'm not a conflictive person. I'm always the one that is like, I'd rather just keep things amicable and not say things. Just like, you know, keep the peace. Even if like, I'm not gonna be friends with someone, like we don't need to be friends, but I'd rather not have like an unnecessary conflict. I just feel like there's so much going on in everybody's life. There's no need to be the annoying person that is always like trying to pick on something. I'm very opinionated and very direct, but I do think that there's a way to express yourself, your personality while being kind and not kindergarten behavior, which I call, which is like when people are being like very aggressive, rude, unfriendly, ignoring each other, uh, not saying hello, not being, not, you know, not using like common sense or manners that you should have from your family, but that's another topic. So I guess I keep a lot of things on the shoulders. And anyway, the moment that he put like these needles, we spoke about the fact how I struggle to do nothing because I'm always thinking of something and I have a low blood pressure, but very hard heart rate. So basically we were talking about this and then he started Started putting these needles and guys i could feel it working it was like getting connected to some sort of like ivy drip but there's nothing like ivying it's just a needle and i could feel it going like like i could feel the energy flowing through my body it was not a placebo effect at first i felt like when you plug in an iphone to electricity i felt like i was the iphone and i was plugged in to some sort of electricity but then i could feel certain muscles or parts of my body like twitching like this and i was like it's twitching and he's like yeah it means it's working it was really incredible so i really liked his approach his demeanor was very gentle yet i had like a lot of respect for him because of the way that he was carrying himself and the stance and the knowledge so i really enjoyed it and i'm like wow i wish i could do this more often it was really great if you guys know a good acupuncture place and if there's anything like because also like acupuncture can help with like trauma i don't know like with random things like acne with fertility 
fertility, with so many different things. I just thought it was like really interesting and I wanted to share it with you. Anyway, so that's the first thing that I wanted to say. The second thing that I wanted to say is my plans for today. So today I need to plan my holidays. I'm now finally finished with traveling for work until the last week of August, which makes me very happy. Happy because like, to be honest, I feel like it's not even, I think I told you this already before. It's not even the long haul flights that got me tired, like the Seoul twice. I went to China twice. I went to Singapore. I went to India. I went to Maldives. It's not even those flights. Obviously Maldives is not gonna get me tired because I went for a holiday, but it's not even those flights that got me tired. It's the freaking like London, Paris, Milan, this, that, Saint-Tropez, five hours in a car, four hours here, there, back. That got me tired. And the fact that like, even when I'm at home, I'm always having some sort of appointments, this or that, and I just want to focus on myself. So right now, all I want to do is masking, <laughs> taking care of myself, having massages. I booked a massage for this weekend for Filippo and myself. I want to have a hydrofacial. I want to book a hair treatment and all of that in anticipation of my summer holidays. So we are going to do, for sure, we're going to do like seven days on a boat, like kind of easy, mm, kind of like around south of it. Italy, like you know going I think we're gonna spend like mainly time in Capri but we're gonna just be like seven days on a boat and we want to spend the se other seven days doing like a road trip so we'll see what we're gonna do but what I love about Italy and France and even England a little bit is that actually in August fashion is asleep and that is great I don't think that that happens in any other industry as much or maybe it does I don't know you guys tell me how it is in your industries but in fashion, August is a month where pretty much everybody takes their holidays. So you don't really receive that many emails, which is wonderful to actually switch off. And also because Philippa and I work in the same industry, we can both take some holidays. But before I continue in this video, because I have some stuff to show you, of course, I just wanted to update you on all of those bits and bobs. Now, the next video, which I think you're all excited for, is going to be my Hermes big fabulous unboxing. I've already unboxed it. I've already filmed it. I just want I include it in the next vlog instead of this one so that you guys because I know a lot of you are waiting for that one so here's a little heads up so I've given you like heads up for everything for my holidays for the unboxing for the acupuncture my breakfast is still waiting there but that's okay anyway I've recently received also a lot of um packages from brands because the th truth is that I was away for such a long time that when I came back I got a lot of things so I wanted to show that to you. Also guys I don't think I've told you about my forgetfulness spell. So in July July is like sort of crazy month but I've had like some sort of like series of things that happened to me in July. I never really moan or talk about these things because I don't think it's sexy to be a moaner but you know sometimes I just feel like sharing because maybe you guys can relate. So at the beginning of this month we were in Capri and this is so crazy. So we were in Capri with Jorgen and Ksenia and on the last day we came home, everything fine. I got home at night, we unpacked and I realized, you're not gonna believe this, I realized I forgot all of my jewelry in the safe in Capri. And it's not even like I can get it like shipped, even if they retrieve it. It was quite late when I realized it was like midnight, so we couldn't even call the villa. Oh, guys, it was, and I thought like, you know, new people would have already come in and maybe they would take it. I don't know, you never know, right? Anyway, it was very lucky because we retrieved it. Can you believe that? Then Filippo left his watch in Ibiza airport on the tray, you know, where you go through the security and they retrieved it and he got it back. But I mean, like every time you understand that you forgot something, it's crazy. Remember that I forgot also my phone in Paris hotel when I arrived in Saint Tropez and also forgot the phone second time during that same trip. I actually forgot it at the dinner table and I went home and I didn't even realize I didn't bring my phone with me. Then also I feel like we left, forgot so many things. There was one other thing that happened in July which was exactly last July. So on, on 4th of July we basically realized that we left the jewelry in Capri. I, I left it in the safe and last year we went for to the army with Gucci and we did the same thing including our passports on this occasion we left it in the safe in Fort de Marmi and we came in Milan when we realized that we left everything there so clearly it's July and funnily enough a year before in July we got robbed so I don't know if July is like a month for me that I have to be like very careful of losing and forgetting things but in London at Cafe Royal I bought actually a Chanel beautiful passport holder I really 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 love it I think it's gorgeous and I was like so excited because Chanel actually never has passport holders not that often at least or if they do they would like 
have it once in a blue moon you know what i mean it's not like a common thing for them to have so when i saw this passport holder i bought it i bought like sunglasses i bought like few little things that i'll show you in a second i don't know i'm having a chanel fever now let's just all ignore it but from now on i think i'll park it okay my chanel fever will be parked so like i had all of those beauty products that i showed you in london i had a lot of like packaging so i was like trying to put them all in one bag so that there's not like a lot of rubbish that i leave behind me in the hotel room because i always try to leave like thinking that someone who comes there to clean will think like it will reflect on my mother and the upbringing that i had <laughs> so i kind of tried to put all the rubbish and all the boxes in one bag luckily because when i came home i realized that i took the box of the chanel passport holder i put it on the desk and i left it and should I left all the mess around, they'd probably throw everything. But they checked. And I called the hotel. I was like, guys, I think I left the passport holder inside of a Chanel box on the table. And they were like, yep, we found it. What would you like us to do? So I'm going to ask them kindly to send it to me and arrange that all. Because I cannot believe my luck that they found it. And that everything that I forgot or left behind, I retrieved. But I take full responsibility that it's me. Because I feel like my mind's been so scattered everywhere that I haven't been managing to look after my things properly. So that's always a first sign sign for me that I need a break and I need a break so that's coming which is great but now to distract you more I just saw my ring look at this ring guys that I am wearing it's an Ole Lingard ring I will link below all the variations of this boho ring because I think it's like probably one of the most beautiful things like for example today this morning I had a breakfast with a friend and I was just wearing a very basic outfit like these black Medea pants that I also wore in London this Saint Laurent top a Kelly bag and like I mean this ring always makes every outfit like pop it's a pop of color that I love I always wear it also during fashion weeks because I love it so if you love it too I'll link below where you can get it now let me show you what I recently got in the packages that are behind me so oh there's a lot so first things first I got this little bucket bag that looks like it has a bikini on from Pucci. It's for summer and inside it's so gorgeous because it has like all of these Pucci print kind of colors, materials. I have like a really beautiful caftan also from Pucci for this summer. It's blue and it's gorgeous. And this has a Pucci logo on it. It says, Dear Tamara, we're happy to give you our new Puccinella bag. We hope you will love it as much as we do. Pucci family. I love this. This is just like the cutest. And I think it's like, you know, when you're going to the beach, it has a little Pucci bikini on and it's a Tong. So cute, you guys. Anyway, ah, at the bottom it also has Pucci logo. Look at this. So you can actually wear a matching bikini with your Pucci bag. Then I got lots of sunglasses from Linda Farrow that I will also link below so you guys can check it out. I'll do the silver box first because it's quite different than anything else that I've ever seen before. It's this Linda Farrow Big Perf Sunglasses collaboration with New. I don't know if you guys know the new studio. They have all of these like sparkly, I'm sure you've seen it, like sparkly tops and cool things if i can find these online i will link them very cool and different packaging like you could have seen now then two other pairs in plastic boxes because they're not collabs they're a new collection from linda farrow we have these these are very like my style of sunnies will you agree yes okay we love good pair of sunglasses don't we both you and i i certainly do i mean i ordered a while ago before my last chanel crazy situation i ordered a pair of chanel sunglasses that i'm waiting for to arrive i think they're due to arrive today actually and i really really like them but now i feel like my drawer of sunglasses is a little bit too busy so i'll need to do some clearing out situation as you know it's getting very busy but i love linda farrow sunglasses i just love love of the style the design the quality it's always very effortlessly cool but also i love the collabs they do collabs with brands like magda butchroom like new you know it's like always like cool and niche designers and this is the last bit it's like rng how cool something i don't have anything like this also the lenses are so beautiful to look through i don't have anything like this in my collection so this is the last piece that i wanted to show you and i really think they're beautiful i'm not gonna bore you too much because i still have to show you what i got in london from belmond which is one of my favorites well, many of my favorite places in the world, like the one in Portofino, in Ravello, where we got engaged. We got Villeggiatura, Italian summer vacation by Belmont. And inside, it's so, per it's so Italian, for so all. You find, okay, there's a card which says, Dear Tamara Filippo, we invite you to embrace the spirit of the Italian Villeggiatura by Belmont. I think that's how you say it. Villeggiatura. Le carte da gioco, so the playing cards. This alarm, someone needs to check if they're like, okay, you know, because, it's not okay. What is this? Il ventaglio, which is, well, I learned a new word today. 
il ventaglio Milanese Summer You don't even need an Italian Summer Just Milanese Summer You need il ventaglio I'm gonna go tell Filippo I learned a new word in Italian I always learn the most random words And then we have um, the, Le parole crociate Filippo loves this I'm more of a Sudoku girl But whenever I see this I just think of Filippo This is so cute Honestly the cutest Italian Summer kit Love it Let's go to my wardrobe Because also this alarm Is about to drive me crazy guys so i just complained to filippo about the alarm i'm sure you've you've heard it in the video it stopped now ah. it stops every two minutes no i don't hear it and filippo telling me he doesn't hear it which now i'm thinking that i'm crazy so you guys are gonna have to tell me if you can hear it <laughs> anyway even if i am going crazy i don't think it's anything new because pff, surprise i'm like really blessed because i work hard i guess we all work hard i'm sure you guys work hard as well it doesn't matter what job you do i'm sure that most well most people that i'm surrounded with or all the people that i'm surrounded with are hard workers because that's also like the kind of people that i choose to surround myself with so i never really tell my friends or anybody like oh i work so hard because they all work hard so that's no novelty but sometimes i like to say it because it also like justifies to an extent my spending habits like i mean like i work hard so that i can spend hard and i can enjoy my life and i can go traveling and i can take holidays and i can enjoy time with my boyfriend and honestly like i'm so lucky because nobody actually judges me so that is a blessing in disguise i can hear the alarm again can you hear the alarm so please tell me am i losing my mind or is there an alarm sound to be determined anyway so i told you that i just quickly popped in chanel why you might wonder when i did like crazy shopping in paris okay let me explain why because the zakar collection had like few drops like there are a few drops of collections at Chanel and this, this was like the first day that the second collection dropped so I wanted to show you I only got like very few items but what I got I really liked and I wanted to show it to you so even though I keep saying that I'm not into pink anymore I got this pink top can you see it it's so cute it's a different pink it's more like a lilac -y pink and it has this kind of like logo and it has a bit of like iridescent threading go through it I think it's so cute I could not not get it okay it was like I need to get it. Then I also got a little top that I thought was very cute. It's like a knit top because that's what this collection is about. And it has the Chanel classic, 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 classic kind of chain going through. Okay. Then to match that, because it's so cute together, I got the jacket. Okay. Look at it. It's so pretty. It like buckles in the middle. It has the chain all around and it has the little CC logo here, which I actually have another jacket like this, but it's just a terry cloth material jacket and it's so freaking adorable. Now I got something that I already tried to get in Paris when I did that big shopping and I literally was like, I grabbed it and I was like, I'd also like this and I turned around and someone else picked it up. I thought there was like a kind of secret agreement between shoppers that if you grab something and you're like i'm gonna buy this okay and you take it and you say it to your sales associate another person can't grab it but apparently that unwritten rule is not international so it's okay i found it in london it's like a very simple thin cardigan and honestly chanel never really does these or like they do but very rarely so when they do do them you have to grab them because they're quite good price and they're really forever because you will never know which collection this is from it's just such a classic piece it's like my white little top that i wear all the time that also has a Chanel logo here. It's just such a basic piece and so easy. And then the last piece that I got was a pair of very, very classic, no logo, no nothing jeans, but these are flare jeans. These flare jeans actually have, uh, they were worn by Margot Robbie, I believe, and they make everything look great. I know some of you are telling me like, oh, please next time, like try things on. We want to see what they look like on and I will, but not right now because you will see them, how I style them throughout all of my summer videos. So right now I just wanted to quickly, briefly show you what you can expect to see, but you will see how I style all of these bits and bobs. So yeah, I'll wrap this video here. I think the next video you will see me style a lot of things. You will also see me unbox my new Hermes bag. It's going to be sort of a, what do you call it? Like a video where I'm at home, I'm vlogging, I'm enjoying life and I'm speaking to you guys. That's my favorite kind of videos. I don't know about you. Right now, I'm gonna go and eat that breakfast. So I'm gonna send you lots of love. Thank you for watching this video. Please share with me some thoughts as well, like I like to share with you. And I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys.